How would you like it if you could type something and then artificial intelligence will create an image for you? Basically, the AI is the art machine that will do the art for you. And what you're seeing right here in the background, these images are all created by a computer, uh, not drawn by any human. It's not; uh, Those are not photos taken by human. These are all created by artificial intelligence. And that's what I'll be reviewing today. It's a brand new product launched on JVZoo. It's called Grayfix, uh, and you can pick it up right now for an early bird price. Now, check out the link in the description below. It will redirect you to my website where you can find more information. And when you scroll down, you can see the pricing here. So it starts for $34.95 uh, early bird price. There are some upgrades. You can check them out here as well. And also my free bonuses. If you pick this up through my link, uh, simply click on one of these buttons here, pick it up, and you're going to get all these extra bonuses as well. All right, let's dive into this. Let me show you exactly how you can create unique images by simply typing a few lines of text. So right now, this is what you will see. And you have two ways to create your images. So right now here at the left side, you see presets. And the presets already have some presets done for you so that you can uh, easily create those images. And then also we have the create part here where you can do it from scratch. Now, let's say you like to create one of those images that you're seeing right here. So uh, let's say we want to do some food for the photography. Then we click on this. And then I want to do a hamburger with cheese, something like this. Oh, there is a hamburger with cheese. Do you see that? Um, but let's do it this way. Let me create a brand new image. I want to have a landscape image in here. So here you fill out the details uh, like hamburger with cheese, but this can be anything that you come up with. And then you can choose if you want to have a landscape, a square or a portrait, portrait mode. Uh, you can select the quantity. So let's say you want to create two images, then you type that in here uh, because it's a credit based system. As you can see here, this costs four credits to create two images the way I have it configured right now. So when I click on create, uh, my images right now it's going to create food fo photography for me it's going to create these hamburgers here for me so right now in the back end these images are being created by the artificial intelligent engine uh, for you so the images that are being created are 100 percent unique as you can see here nobody owns this image except for you this is a unique image yeah simply create it and here comes the second image. This is also created. So it takes a few seconds to create. But look at this. This is simply a hamburger created by artificial intelligence. I mean, this is cool, isn't it? Uh, and you can save them and they will be saved to your library. So here at the left side, you have saved images. When I click on this, I can go OK. You can see here are the hamburgers that we just created. But look at this here. This was an astronaut drifting in space, photorealistic. This was an image that I also created with Grayfix. And here, check out this out. I like to have luxury rooms, uh, luxury rooms. Look at this. This picture is also created by the engine. As you can see, this is another luxury room here. Very, very nice pictures, but also human beings. These human beings have been created. Uh, I mean, this person does not exist. This man does not exist. And you can create a person. So let's do that. Let's go to the presets in here. And let's say I want to have a headshot here. So this is also a picture of a human being that does not exist. It's being created with a computer. So let's say I want to have a handsome uh, man uh, with a beard, uh, with a beard, with a long beard, with a long, uh, long beard. And then we want to have here, we want to have a square landscape image again. And then let's say it's going to, oh, well, let's create simply two again. And let's click on create the image. Right now it's going to create a photo of a man with a long beard for you. And these images are stock free. You can use them on your website, on your social media, in your newsletters, anywhere in your designs. You can simply use those uh, because you got all the rights through those images. Now let's see what comes out of this. 
I also want to show you something else because this has all been created from the presets menu, but you can also create it from scratch yourself uh, so that every everything will be created. Uh, yeah, the way you design it. Look at this. So here you got actually two pictures. Now this is a little bit strange here. His beard is a little bit strange here, but this has been generated uh, with the engine. Uh, let's wait for the second one and then let's let me show you. Well, actually, let's go to another website here. Let's say to Shutterstock. Normally, we search for photos on Shutterstock, right? So what I'm going to do, I'm going to try to create a picture of a man with a dog here. So uh, what I'm going to do here, handsome guy, handsome young man with Labrador outdoors. Let's see if we can create something like this. And then uh, go back to the software here. And it's still generating the second image. So let's wait a few more seconds till it's done. Let's see here. Let me refresh this one. Oh, shoot. That I could not. And um, that was my mistake. I should not have um, refreshed my screen. Sorry about that. Um, let's simply create another one. Let's let's go to create to the create part here and let let us try to create this image of this this handsome man. So I'm gonna do here handsome young man with Labrador outdoors. Let's see what it comes up with. And then let's create a landscape picture again. And then also the detail, you can say I want to have high details and I want to have a uh, quantity two here again. And let's, you know, you can also set your create uh, creativeness here. You can set this to higher, to seven, to eight or lower. You can just play with these settings and then it will start creating these images for you. So it says now we're generating your images. So let me pause and come back to you. Okay, I'm back now. So actually, these are two funny images, uh, especially this one. If you look at this one, I mean, this is, <laughs> I'm not sure if the, what kind of dog this is, but this is not a Labrador. So this picture kind of messed up here. And one thing that I also did wrong is if we wanted to create a similar image to this one, I should probably uh, specify it a little bit more. So he's holding the dog. You know, you, you could say so many things. So, um, yeah, this one is messed up. Here's another one. So this is this is not a really pretty face, as you can see here with, with the dog here. So I should have specified this differently. Um, yeah, this is just the, the honest truth, what comes out. But there are some very beautiful things things that are coming out of this, uh, of graphics. So let me grab one other uh, example for you. And to do so, we're going to use the preset because I think the presets already uh, helped tremendously by already filling out some details because you can go really specific. You know, you can say highly detailed photo of a man with a beard uh, and blue glasses and uh, earrings or whatever you like. You can go really specific and also what you can even specify the engines, etc. Uh, but let's say... Um, let's say we want to have some landscapes i think we can do this one because you can also do vector illustrations so let's let's do a vector quickly so let's say mountain uh with a river and then we do a square we simply do one image just to see what the engine is going to create for us let me pause and come back and there we go so this is a very very simple image as you can see almost a logo so we can be a little bit more specific let's leave this screen and let's do this again so let's see what it comes up with mountain range with river in the foreground um, mountain with river in the foreground with trees on the side something like this and then let's quantity one let's create one let's see what it comes up with so this is easier to create because one second that was my phone so let me put that on mute so as you can see this is already another illustration image which is much better than the previous one because we specified a lot more right so let me do one other example okay preset uh, let's say we want to do a real photo. So here, travel pho photography here. So these are examples that you can create here. So let's do something similar. So um, 
a road in the mountains with a river on the side. Something like this at night. Let's create it at night. Let's create one image here. Um, let's see what it comes up with. Let's do a landscape and let's do this. Let's see what it comes up with. And look at this. This is the image that has been created. Pretty cool picture. It's, it's at night with, with the lights here. Um, pretty cool picture. But you can see these are very quickly generated images. So you can think a little bit better what kind of picture you would like to see and be really specific for the engine to run these pictures. But as you can see, it's pretty cool. Personally, I think the presets work pretty good if you go to the presets because then it's already photorealistic, etc. or it's already a vector. Okay, guys, I'm so, so sorry. I messed up with my recording software, so I probably missed something in the recordings. Uh, but what I've done is I did another preset um, where I said I want to have a girl with pink, pink hair and glasses, and these are the results that have been generated. These look very, very good, as you can see here. Um, I think I did another one, but I'm not sure if you've seen that within the create where I took an image as well. I will do that one more time here. Uh, if I already did that, I'm sorry, but let's take this one. And then here in the MISC setting here, I have to set this to enabled because this will run the image through the facial enhancement fixing the AI engine. This works on human face. So let's try this one uh, with this image in here. And then uh, you can even do an image mask if you like. Not sure what that is. A painted areas, non-painted. Uh, let's skip that for now. And let's say we want to create new photos of this one. Let's simply create it right now. And let's see what the engine comes up with. So now the engine has finished the images. And as you can see, this is the original that you can see here. Uh, and it created three different kind of images. So this has definitely a different face, as you can see here, but it still looks very good. So it's the same person uh, with a different face. Here's another one. As you can see, her smell is different on this picture. Uh, and here is another one. Her smell and her face is also different here. So they're almost twins, as you see it like here. Um, that can be done when you upload images uh, yeah, with pictures like this. Uh, but yeah, I guess that's what you can do with Grayfix. Very cool stuff. Um, yeah, all different kind of pictures you can create from illustrations to stickers to vectors to travel fo photography. Uh, all these kinds of images can be created. So if this is interesting to you, make sure to check out again the link in the description. Uh, go to my website here uh, where you can find all the details. If you get this through my link, get all my bonuses here for free. I will email them automatically. And uh, if you have any questions, feel free to ask them in the comments below. Also, don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel if you haven't done yet. I do a lot of product reviews. And uh, thank you so much for watching and uh, hope to see you in my next video. Talk soon. Cheers.